Brandon Mines here. Welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. I actually was able to get to the um part right away in. Alright. I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Yeah. Hiding something? Maybe. But uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Junior has a crush on your girl. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. in such a condition. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Yeah. Like if it fell, how the hell is it over there? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? The lamp couldn't have fallen off the table. And why the hell not? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over there, Toad. It was plugged in over there, and now it's here. I can see the lamp's imprint in the dust where it used to be. Oh, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Literally, I'm not even joking, guys. He sounds annoying. I'll need to get a dustpan one of these days. I'm gonna get tough with him. <laughs> Tell me what's up right now. You know what happens if you don't. Well, you've already been through this, mate. There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? <clears throat> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B, I... If it even has the faintest whiff of bullshit, I'm gonna... Dad! Is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? Maybe, uh, maybe it, it got away from me a bit. Dad? Oh, my God. Take off your hat. Pigby, you didn't... He didn't. Butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. Okay. They okay. come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. You know where the tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. 
but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. We even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? Don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. Alright. Fetch him the first. Oh, no. Okay. I hope we get to do uh, oh, the uh, Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Dee. Because I think I really actually want to do that. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Oh! Oh, dang. Wait, that's the freaking coat. Okay. If you guys don't know, um, when as I was reading the, the book of the fables that I didn't read in any of the episodes yet, do you want to when I was making a, a long video I accidentally, I read that, and that's what the Faith was wearing. Don't make it a dilemma. So. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, Till Junior, see obviously. Ya. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Alright guys, gonna have to end the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!